Hello, what's up? This is a little in between episode of the Master Fast vlog. Um, my name is Jeremy. Thanks for watching. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a bubbly, which is how the Master Fast recommends breaking a dry fast. So, this is actually the longest dry fast I've ever done. I'm on hour 35. I was going to go for 36 but I have a coaching session at 9.30 and I want to make sure I can be focused and high energy for my client, so I'm going to be cutting it short. But all right, here's what you need for the bubbly. A large container to pour the mixture in, apple cider vinegar, baking soda, or calcium carbonate, which I don't have, so I'm not really sure much about it. Spoons to measure the dose, some grape juice, and tissues or toilet papers, just in case you make a mess. <laughs> All right, so let's get to it. I'm really thirsty. Um, I guess I'll talk a little bit about my 36 dry fast hours, 35, one hour short. Um, symptoms, headache, definitely have a headache right now, but that's kind of fortunately a common theme in my life. I felt a lot of knee joint pain yesterday um, in my heart. This morning I, I do a Buteco breathing every morning and some meditation and my heart was just like pounding and pounding and pounding. And last night I had a pretty bad headache and I just went to sleep and ended up getting high from marijuana which helped the headache but just dried me out even more. So I'm really looking forward to drinking this stuff and then, uh, then we'll talk about more. But yeah, I'm just really thirsty. Okay, <laughs> let's do it. So this is for mixing, because you'll see there's a little like chemical reaction. So all right, I got the computer up. I just want to make sure I'm following. Okay, so one half to one teaspoon of baking soda or calcium carbonate. So here we go. This is about a teaspoon. Maybe a little bit more, all right. Boom, there it goes. Just a little more for good luck. All right, so that's step one. Pretty easy, right? Yeah, you guys are gonna be so good at this. All right, put in this here, baking soda. Next, apple cider vinegar. Here we go. One to two tablespoons. Now, be careful not to mix it up. It's one half to one teaspoon of this these are tablespoons. So you can just think apple cider belongs on the table and baking soda belongs in the cupboard with the tea. So it's a teaspoon, this tablespoon. All right, here we go. This is where you want to have good uh, pouring skills. Let's spill. And I'm spilling. That's why I got napkins. Don't worry. My girlfriend won't, uh, won't get too mad at me. All right, so that was a little bit more than one. So as you can see, it's fizzing up a bit. That's what I like to call chemistry. <laughs> oh gosh, I love making videos for you. I hope you enjoy. So all right, baking soda, put this in the back. Here, by the microphone, whatever. All right, next step. This is actually the most crucial because if you spill grape juice all over, who knows what's gonna happen. So this goes into here. One, two, three! And boom. Check it out, oh yeah. Merry Christmas. So after that, I think you're supposed to let it sit. Yeah, so you're supposed to drink this very slowly. And I'm very looking forward to it. So here we go. And that's the key. Breaking fast is, is very challenging. Like, I don't know if you can tell right now, but I'm really dry, I'm really thirsty, and I'm really looking forward to this. But I'm, I'm actually making this video partially to help me slow down. So here we go. Prost. L'chaim.
<laughs> okay. Feeling feeling much better. It tastes so sweet. It's so delicious. Um, actually, anything you consume after a long dry fast tastes amazing. But this one, particularly delicious. And you're supposed to drink this because it is meant to, to cool your system. Um, I think the acidic aspect of the beverage does that, but I really don't know um, too much more. That's one thing I actually would like to see more of in the Master Fast, more, um, you know, just scientific evidence, not not necessarily to like prove that it's right, but just to like explain to people that, hey, this is what's going on in your body. This is, you know, how the molecules interact and have more of a background for that because I'm just really curious um, about that. So good. So yeah, there you have it. The bubbly from the Master Fast. And I don't think you necessarily need to do the Master Fast to use the bubbly. I think um, this can be helpful with any dry fast. But the Master Fast also recommends uh, waiting two hours to do an enema because you let your body, I think, enter jize itself with liquid and then and then flush out it also suggests so starting with this and then drinking kidney tea for i guess just kidney tea and then going to coconut water or grape juice to rehydrate the body so trying to drink it slow but my body's thirsty so we'll see um oh i just want to talk about i was so emotional last night I think it had to do with uh, the dry fast. I think just a lot of emotions come up, but also I feel like when when my body doesn't have any food or water to distract it, I can just feel my emotions so much more. So part of me was getting a little frustrated, like, wow, I'm so emotional right now. Like, well, this is weird. I mean, why am I fasting? Is this what's best? Blah, blah, blah. But then I was like, these emotions were all already deep inside me and this is just bringing them up. So I'm just like grateful that I could access these emotions that usually are there but are buried beneath, you know, the distractions of life. So, so ladies, if uh, you want to get your guy to become more emotional, maybe you should have him do some dry fasting. <laughs> but I'm feeling much better this morning. Way less emotional. Ready to break the fast though. All right, as you can see, I almost just chugged that whole thing because as soon as it touched my lips, my mouth was like, we need more of this. So be very, very, very careful. Drink slowly. When you break your fast, you know, eat slowly. Um, pay attention to the body. The body knows what's best. Even when dealing with all these symptoms today and yesterday, I just could feel, even though I had a headache, I was just like, I know this is like a good pain. It's like a growing, healing pain. And just learning to trust that like the body knows what's best and the body wants what's best. Like why would the body want to damage itself? Um, it's, it's us, society that damages it with cigarettes and alcohol and toxins and high stress and low sleep. And the body just wants to like chill and relax and be at peace. So just like digging deep into that and trusting and enjoying life one sip at a time it's also eight in the morning this is by far the earliest video i've ever made so thanks for sticking with me with that i'm gonna end this right now finish this drink some tea hydrate and i get ready for this call so thank you so much for watching subscribe hope this was helpful and feel free to leave a comment i'm happy to keep the discussion going all right adios happy dry fasting uh, uh, but, uh, but.